Thank you. Boy, Courtney's really on it, I gotta say. It was like mind control. Okay, so while everybody gets settled, I'm uh, Neil Maylett, Editorial Director, um, and I have the unenviable task of trying to explain how our editorial works in five minutes. Um, so we'll see how I do. I, every time I practice this, it ends up being like about 20 minutes, so I can't go that long. Um, so I'm going to do the uh, same thing David did, give you the big message in case I get cut off here. Um, and <laughs> and Marion and Jamie are going to love this. Uh, it's more conversations and better conversations. Uh, th this actually just came to me about five minutes before I started speaking. That, that's how it all kind of wraps up. So let's see how we can get there. Um, when I came to BK, I was a little bit nervous because uh, I thought, how can they be getting any proposals coming in? They don't, they don't give advances. Um, they don't work with agents most of the time. We don't have any particular gripe with agents, it's just usually agents want the advances. Uh, BK doesn't bid in publishing auctions. Um, we tell the author that you really need to do most of the sales and marketing. You know, we're here to support you, but it's really your job. Um, and then we tell you, but we still expect you to just go through the grinder uh, on what we think your idea should be and make it simpler. So it, surely nobody's sending them any books, but um, this kind of proves, <laughs> proves to the contrary and, and to my delight that we get a lot of proposals. Uh, and we keep track of it. It's about 1,500 a year and up. And um, about 10% of those are, uh, will lead to some level of conversation by Steve or myself with uh, an author. And from that, we may go to the editorial committee with about 100 projects. So, you know, maybe two a week. And uh, that's actually where some of the secret sauce really happens. And there may be three or four rounds in the editorial committee, and I've come back to the author kind of in tears. You know, they, they're still not buying it. You know, they, they think everything stinks except for chapter four. Could you just do a book on chapter four? That actually happens a lot. Um, you have one good idea, you know. You know all those great ideas, there's only one good one. Uh, so, and, and a lot of it has to do with like the getting it down to the big idea. Uh, so then we go to the publications board, that one is it down, and then we end up with about 30 to 40 agreements. Um, so I, I can pro this, is, this process really doesn't exist elsewhere in my experience, so that's kind of unique, and I'll, and I'll give you some reasons for that in a minute. So, um, that, but this is the traditional editorial pipeline at most publishers, and it's very driven by agents. And what's going on there is uh, publishers, it, you saw how many more books are being published. So it's not that fewer books are being published, even though editorial departments have been downsized at most traditional publishers. What's happened is the work has been outsourced to agents, and agents are driving the process. They're writing the proposals, they're going through those conversations with the authors. If you've ever bought a house, and you've worked with the listing agent and the buying agent, do you really talk to the seller? Not really. You might get a, a one can 15 minute call with the author before you sign the contract and that's, that's about what you get in most cases in traditional publishing. So as you can imagine, a lot of editorial effort goes into the back end when what you get has nothing to do with what you thought you were signing up. So uh, we kind of front load all of that pain and agony, if you will. Um, and the amazing thing is it's the authors who have gone through all that pain and agony will actually tell their friends and colleagues, you really should publish with BK, you know? It was, it was the worst experience of my life, you know? <laughs> they told me I was stupid, I just couldn't, you know? But, uh, and, and, but you really should publish with them. And so, so this, is, this is like our secret strength in acquisitions. This is why, what makes my job a delight. And um, it, it, it shows the community kind of works for us. So the authors are out there vetting our community, they're scouting. So uh, basically, when you add that all up, about 75% of the books coming in are coming in through our author community. Uh, and I, I, I guarantee you no other publisher can say that. Um, so, so what I try to do is like, figure out, well, so what, how, how does this like, lead to the actual editorial conversation? Uh, and, and what, what, so what I've described in traditional publishing, where the agent is kind of the intermediary, and I really don't have anything against agents, because I've actually worked as an agent for, you know, briefly. Um, it, it's just that their economics and work style doesn't necessarily mesh with, with what we do. Um, so what I would call it is ready, fire, and then aim. And then you aim after the manuscript comes in, and you realize, wow, we're really, and I can't tell you, this is, I'd say, actually the rule rather than the exception, that there's some level of kind of really stressful book rewriting and all that kind of thing down the road. Um, and the editorial process at BK is um, I'm somewhat, uh, actually each one of these has some meaning. Ready, no, not ready yet. Ready, no, not ready yet. Aim, fire, and then aim, fire again. So what, I, what do I mean by that? Um, so you get your proposal into BK, 
you go through several discussions with me or Steve about, well, you know, I'm not getting it. You know, have, have, you know, what's let's let's you, you know too much. You're saying too much. Let's go to that one idea. You think you got it straight, so you bring it to the editorial committee. There, I don't get it either. You know, I think you really you see see if this will work. So we go through a couple rounds there. And then finally you get to the publications board, and now you're ready to go. Now you tell the author to, okay, take aim, let's start writing. Um, this, this may be a, a two-month process, maybe a month to two-month process, and, uh, and you don't have a contract yet. None of these conversations are about the contract. In the first model, in traditional editorial process, all of the conversations are about the contract before the book is signed up. You're signing the proposal pretty much as is, and what you're discussing is the size, the advance, how much you're going to pay for the publicity tour, and do I get a New York Times bestseller bonus, and so, so that's what all the conversations are about. Here, we're actually, um, <laughs> despite the fact we're not paying that advance, we're going we're gonna to make you work harder. And, and, um, <laughs> but the nice thing is, and then, and then we like, make you throw it all out and start all over again because of the, uh, Jeevan will talk about the author review process and how that works. We have your author day. Uh, in which you get a chance to have your idea, and this is before, you, probably about the time your draft manuscript is done, uh, you know, you get feedback from the group then. You go through all the meetings during the day, you get more feedback from me, you have the reviews, we have a title survey in which we find out we thought your book, you know, was about cheese, it's really about cows, you know, and so <laughs> we got to rewrite that. So, so those are all places where there are, where there are conversations. Um, and. I, I honestly think that's sort of the secret. That's sort of these pu these conversations aren't happening in typical publishing. And if you ask an author here, you'll have lots of conversations with us if you publish with BK. So if you're really not into that, then we're definitely not the right choice. And but that's the lost art of publishing. And it's how ideas get better. It's how authors get more confident. It's how they try out um, their message. And uh, and I, I think it's something we're kind of good at. So I'll stop there. <laughs>